Hey, Viola Rules here, and welcome back to Professor Lady and the Spectre's Call. So last time, we finally opened up the way to the Black Market, and let's go down. The Black Market is through here. There's a light ahead. Keep going. Something in the water is either a hidden puzzle or... Yep, it's a hidden puzzle. This is hidden puzzle number 150, Lily Pad Leap Frog, 50 Pickerons. The green frog is trying to make his way to his purple girl frog. The only way to get to her is by leaping across the lily pads floating in the river. The frog can hop horizontally or vertically, but must leap the number written on the lily pad he is jumping from. To impress his girl frog, he must also land on every lily pad before reaching her. What are you waiting for? Hop to it. There we go. A challenging puzzle, to be sure. Nice. No puzzle. That one took me a few an tries, but I finally was able to get it. Well done. His girl frog must have been impressed by such graceful leaping. There is more than one route to her. See if you can find them all. Yeah, you can redo puzzles if you go to the puzzle in depth. So let's go ahead and go further in. There's some real finds here. Let's have a little look. You mean to say those artifacts hold real archaeological value? Hmm, looks like a heap of junk if you ask me. His professor status is in archaeology, not in being a detective, but he does help the police solve crimes most of the time. I got something. Got a new hidden item. Gloomy mask. I have a wife and son at home, but here I am at the auctions again. Shackwell. I work tremendously hard, you know, yet I still can't buy all the beautiful things that catch my eye. Maybe you should go home. I'm sure your family would like to see you. If it were that easy to just leave, I should have done so by now. What's so hard about saving time and money and going home to your family? Emmy, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. Let's just go. Hmm? It's pitch black in here. Wait, there's someone there. Oh, hey, it's him again. It can only be the Black Raven. Okay, let's talk to him. Glad you could make it. Oh, okay, this voice is this Your puzzle solving acting. skills are most impressive. Oh, the rumors right. about you might be true. Now then, might be. what do you want? We are looking for an ancient flute. 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 I understand yeah. that one was recently sold at auction here. Maybe it was. Maybe it wasn't. <laughs> Stop being vague. Why would I tell you? Well, Obviously, perhaps was. if you told us, then I wouldn't feel compelled to expose your true identity. Wait, what? What? Of course, the professor always ten steps ahead of everybody else. <laughs> Repeat yourself. I dare you. <laughs> if I impressed you before, why doubt me now? Especially since we spoke earlier. To Wait. all of you. Wait, what? Preposterous! You know nothing about us! I, I, I mean, about me! Us? Perhaps not. I did but sort of suspect that, that it was that a risk? bunch of kids in a I shall keep coat, quiet but... if you help us. Hmm. It's not real, How could though, you right? know? Professor, what's going on? That's what I'd like to know, too. Yes, what are you talking about? The Black Raven made a simple mistake. Clearly, but what? By flicking, your, by flickering in and out of sight, the Black Raven gave the illusion of being able to teleport. Yes, I thought the same thing. It moved impossibly fast. Yeah, because it's multiple people running around in Raven costumes. Clearly, there was something odd going on there, right? Solve the puzzle. How? Did the Black Raven move through the market? A. He is a world-class sprinter. <laughs> B. He has supernatural power. C. There must be a trick, right? Obviously, there's a trick to it. It was a trick. No one is that fast. I believe you are correct, Emmy. No one is so fast as to appear to teleport from place to place. There must have been some trick. What do you think it was? 
Okay, how did the Black Raven do it? He used springs on his feet. <laughs> it was an optical illusion. Several people were several people were involved. Yeah, that's why the adults suddenly disappeared from the market. Maybe there were multiple Black Ravens to begin with. Yes, very sharp. There were multiple Black Ravens. They all wore the same costume and were all the same height, apparently. By assuming that the Black Raven was one person, we overlooked the obvious. That makes sense, Professor, but how can you be certain? I got a glimpse of something inside the Black Raven's cape during our chase, but the next Black Raven I saw didn't have it. What was it? A lollipop. Oh, because of the twins. The ones who weren't supposed to go to the candy store. One of those raspberry swirl lollies that Aunt Taffy was selling, but she won't sell to adults, exactly. Wait, you don't suppose. How did the Black Raven get a lollipop? The Black Raven is a child. The Black Raven bribed Taffy. The Black Raven stole sweets. It's a child. Or multiple children, probably. Is the Black Raven young enough to buy sweets, then? Precisely, Luke. As we know, Aunt Taffy only sells her wares to children. So then the Black Ravens are... The Black Ravens are children, precisely. They are the children who guided us to the black market. Together, they form the Black Raven. So, this boy here is also... Oh, I didn't realize that the person running the vegetable stand was a child. I thought that was an adult. Okay. He is also one of them. Perhaps now we can drop the charade? Okay, which one is he, though? Hmm. You, sir, are very, very good. Crow. Puzzle solved. Okay, and we have a completed mystery for this one. The Black Raven turned out to be a character played by the children of the market. Working as a group, they all assumed, to te assumed a role to test those who seek the Black Market. Okay, we may conclude that the Black Raven was a fic fictitious character from the very beginning. Well, no doubt. I also like how he's called Crow instead of Raven. My name is Crow. I'm the leader of the Black Ravens. I'd appreciate it if you don't share what you know with the customers. We'll stay silent. Of course. Now, do you know anything about an ancient flute that was auctioned here? Hmm. Yeah, I vaguely remember something like that. Follow me. Oh no, this is a hidden item. Dreadful painting. Okay. Interesting. Oh, and there's the last one. Great. This guess he's looking through his wares. We keep meticulous records here. The black market is a model of good business practice. Here, sold one year ago, almost to the day. Peace reminiscent of Spectre's Flute of Legend. Fire was this rich guy from Highyard Hill, Evan Bard, paid a fair bit for it too. He fancied himself sort of a local squire, lived in Bard Manor and looked down at everyone. Let's go and talk to this Bard person, Professor. You won't have much luck with that. Even Bard died about a year ago. Oh, Evan Bard died about a year ago. Oh, really? Just after he bought the flute? What happened to him? I don't know the details, sorry. But I do know that you're better off staying away from that man. He's not dead, is he? He faked his death, didn't he? So he could pull off this stupid specter thing. Because of the Calamity Witch? Huh? You know about that. You must be local, then. What, you don't recognize Luke? Even Evan Bard's young Evan Bard's daughter is cursed. Anyone who bad mounts her ends up regretting it. Yes. Is that so? Nobody's foolish enough to go near that place. Well, we're foolish, so let's go. Ariana Bard is known to the whole world to the whole town as the Witch of Calamity. I see. Nevertheless, our trail leads to Bard Manor, so that is where we shall go next. Well, this should be interesting, if nothing else. It certainly should be. And we have a new mystery. The Witch. Only misfortune befalls those who speak ill of the girl who lives on Highyard Hill, whom the townsfolk call the Witch of Calamity, a mere superstition or something more. If we take what Crow says to be true, those who say bad things about this girl are cursed. Hmm. I wonder if that has something to do with the establishments that get smashed up, those that bad talk this girl end up getting smashed by the specter who was being controlled by someone, either her or somebody else. A new episode has been added to the trunk. Black Ravens Go. Okay, cool. Let's take a look at the episode that we just got. 
Oh, I'm missing an episode. Huh. I don't know why. I've talk been pretty thorough talking to everyone. So, let's go ahead and watch episode 4. Now, see if I can get episode 3. Piss crow, the moon falls on the cheese eye. It does since when? Code, Crow, you want us to use code, right? I said we've got new customers for the black market. We do? Then drop the blue spoon at dawn. Um, rally the troops? Got it. That one was a bit cryptic, though. Ugh. I... I... I can't breathe. Are you alright? I've never seen you out of breath before, Badger. I never thought she'd chase me up onto the roof. That was much too close. Yeah, those weren't the moves of an amateur. I thought you'd get caught for sure. Yeah, well, I'm sure you got a nice safe view of everything from your window. Hey, that's the job of a lookout, all right? I think I need a glass of water. I'm just going to nip home. Be careful, Badger. Those people might still be prowling around. See you. Okay, so that's who we were chasing. Everyone feeling alright? No injuries? We're alright. I did drop a piece of toffee, though. We told you not to take sweets when we're doing the Black Raven thing. You never learn. Okay, so that was Gus who had the candy. Let's worry about that later. I'm more concerned about an adult who can follow us up to the rooftops. That was pretty scary. She was pretty and scary. <laughs> Let's see how smart she and her friends are. We gave them the puzzle, now it's up to them. We've already placed the medal, so we'd better get ready for them. You think they'll do it then? Okay, I'll head to the auction house. You all know what to do. What a pain. Really? I'm so fed up I could keel over. Come on, chin up. We haven't had any good customers in a while. Yeah, yeah. But really, what a pain in the neck. I'm off, okay? You do your part too, or Crow will hear about it. First dressing up as the Black Raven and now this, such a pain in the neck. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. If you guys did, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys next time.